Mm. I don't know if it's not working well with my primer. I first of all I look ghostly. That could be the number one problem. It's also not sticking to my nose. y'all it's your girl Bree Dupree and I'm back with another video I don't know what's going on with my background so you know what today has been a really stressful day and at this point it just is what it is I'm not gonna keep I've had enough it's only 1 30 in the afternoon and I've literally had enough today though we are not here to talk about annoyances hopefully we are here to talk about the new KVD Good Apple Foundation. I bought the shade Light 021 and I'm kind of nervous because I saw someone who I think is lighter than me wear a darker shade and it was her perfect match. So I hope it matches me. We're gonna find out together. Um, I, you guys will see this foundation again in a full face of first impressions, even though it's really not gonna be, it's gonna be a second impression, but I'm gonna use that with a new primer that I got because I decided today for this review I wanted to use products that I already know work for me um that way if something happens it's not the other products it will specifically be the foundation but in that video I'll be trying new primers new concealers you know new setting powders things like that that might disrupt or take away from um, the actual foundation itself. So I wanted to try just the foundation today and that is why you will see it in both videos because we wanna give her a fair shot. So this is supposed to have apple extract. I believe it's I believe it's described as a medium to full coverage or something like that or a light foundation. This is on, you can find this on Ulta, Sephora and the KVD website. I'm now only referring to this brand as KVD. I can't keep up with all of the names that they've been changing it. And before the year is over, they're probably gonna change the name again. So we're just going to refer to this brand as KVD. What I like about this component here is that it's fully recyclable. I believe that you could even take the pans out and they're gonna be selling reusable pans for this. So a lot less waste in that department. We love somebody who's eco-conscious. Um, it's described as a foundation bomb though and I'm thinking that I'm kind of the perfect candidate for this because I've been seeing a lot of these re reviews for this one on people with oily skin and I have like medium like my skin is like normal and a little bit of dry like kind of combo I really don't get dry patches I get a little bit oily here sometimes not really and if it's been a really long day I'll get a little bit oily here but not really nothing that I require like a mattifying I don't even think I own I think I own like two mattifying primers and I, I like haven't used them so what I'm going to do today is prime with things that I would normally prime with um it is said that you're supposed to use this with a brush so I did not wet a beauty blender or anything like that so <clears throat> first I'm going to go in with my um benefit uh pores no more this I believe is a moisturize the moisturizing one if I'm correct, I'm, I only have a little bit left, so we're squeezing it out. I just like to put this right here because I feel like, you know what? Let me need to zoom you guys in. There we go. I feel like my pores are just huge right there. And if I have anything extra, I'll just put it kind of just on my T-zone because that's where I notice and see my pores really the most. So, and then the rest of the face, I'm just gonna put on the Hydro by Milk. And I'm just doing one pump of that. And just putting that everywhere else. Am I bright enough? Do you guys want some more light? Because the way this is all set up, it's just so ghetto around here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. My setup is a little bit ghetto. I hope that helped a little bit. Okay. 
I'm going to use a foundation brush, obviously, but what brush do I want to use? I kind of want, I wish I had that Cat V brush. I try to find it. Alto definitely doesn't sell it. So I'm just going to use this dense. This is a Morphe M444 brush. I think I'm just going to use that. I don't know. I kind of like, but this one's really dirty. So yeah, we're just going to use this Morphe brush. And I'm just going to dip in here and like let's see what happens should i get a mirror do i need a mirror I all right here we go oh maybe she might be a little light she might be a little light <laughs> she might be a little light but that coverage is crazy right off the bat yeah i might have to get a darker one but at least we know look at how it's spreading though wow Yeah, I'm gonna need a darker one. I can see all my hairs and everything. <laughs> I'm over here turning into a whole new person. I don't know why, it said light and I'm like, I don't know. It's hard for me, you guys. It's really hard for me. I have like really weird, when you're like really neutral but you can't wear neutrals, like that's where I'm at. I don't know why it wouldn't work with a sponge. Maybe I should have wet a sponge so we could see. I feel like this does not match me. I don't know. It's got such good reviews, but everybody's using the reviews that I've seen. Everybody's using the same brush and it's the Kat Von D brush. See that? It's really weird. I don't like it. Let me go wet a sponge. Let me see if I can do something with this. Okay, I got a sponge. I'm gonna see what happens if I dip my sponge in here. Okay, I will say I don't feel anything and I feel like I put like three layers on. I just don't think this is my, this is just not my favorite. Um, maybe we will have to try it. Maybe let me try it with like a more moisturizing primer or something like that. But as of right now, or like maybe I'll get my, I'll exchange it for a darker shade and we'll see how that goes. But as of right now, I am just not seeing the hype that everyone is talking about. Uh, I will say that I kind of got it to blend in with my skin. But let me go ahead and zoom you guys up and just show you how terrible this is making my skin look. So it's just emph emphasizing everything. And if you look here, you can literally see all of my peach fuzz. It's worse over here on this side, like over here. Um, all of my texture is emphasized. Even on my nose that I just exfoliated last night. And just look at how absolute creepy this is. When I touch my skin, it doesn't feel like anything. It definitely isn't transfer proof. Look at that. I lightly touched my skin. I went like this, look. And look at that. So. I'm not a fan. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I was feeling a little down on myself because of the current state of this foundation. So we have blue mascara on. It's just the L'Oreal Voluminous Blue Mascara. So we're going to try to 
not look crazy i'm gonna go in with my little baby here um the abh dewy spray to try and save us i just don't want to get my mascara so mm. i will say after the spray and everything, it doesn't look that bad. I am going to be um, exchanging this. I think I'm going to go two shades darker at least because I think because it was so light, it was emphasizing everything and making me look kind of crepey and old and and just like not very healthy. So I think maybe if I get my color. Um, so that's what we'll do. I'll go to the store tomorrow or something. I'll exchange it for a different shade. And then when you guys see my full face of first impressions, we will be using the new shade. So I will put down in the description box how this wears for the rest of the time that I'm observing me wearing it. Um, I do have a friend coming over in three and a half hours and we're gonna hang out. So I'm gonna be wearing it um, for the evening uh so you know i'll be able to let you guys know down below how it wore until i'll try not to touch my face as much and most of the time when i'm at home i don't really care because nobody sees me but i'll try not to just so i can give you guys the best review that i can right now for me it's about a five out of ten i like the idea i like the concept i love the packaging um i just have some issues and hopefully at least three of those issues can be kind of uh exit it out with the right shade so subscribe if you want to see full face of first impressions hopefully with the right shade of this foundation and i do have some hauls coming up if they're not already up thank you so much for watching this vicia i hope it was somewhat at least educational i would say inspiring but <laughs> It probably wasn't. I hope it was a little bit educational for you. Um, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.